going to get, I'm going to add a little extra to this video about the chestnuts. <clears throat> Why not? So that you will understand this is related to the video I posted why I completely stopped picking up chestnut 32 years ago at age 21. Why did I stop pick up the chestnut? Now, I think this is very, very relevant information I'm going to give you. Uh, I did go inside of the minds of these people who were of them were actually even a police officers. So what I'm going to do this opportunity, I'm going to take a map, a Google map, like this, and we're going to go down to this village, Kirka. I'm not doing this to shame anybody or anything like this. I am going to lock you up. I'm not doing this to shame you. I'm doing this for the other reasons. It's not a play, and it's not a joke. This house here, I already told you about. This is our house here, that you see here, this here. And uh, right across the street are actually two houses. And the front one is from Colenz whom I have mentioned in the video. The rear one is from deceased already man whose name was Francio Doge. This here is from Mohar. This house here, right next to ours, therefore, is from Martin Yerman who also passed away a few years ago. He has a son. His name is Tina Yerman, and for whom I have stated in this video here, uh, he figured out, in fact, that I was trying to kill his father, that I was trying to dement his father. He figured out in my face, he swear that he's going to kill me for that matter, with his cousin, who is located right here. And this is a police investigator, Metod Yerman, who has his brother, right? As you see, all these people are all involved in it. It's also important to note a Tina Yerman, therefore, a son of Jorge Yerman, deceased man. Um, has also a brother, and his name is Zdenko Yerman, a police officer who moved toward Brezhice, Kerchko area. Uh, he was very much implicated in MK Ultra and caused enormous problems to me, along with his cousin, uh, brother, and all these people. You know, uh, I find this bizarre that I would want to go and destroy their father. I found it like really, really stressful them getting in my face, claiming that I was enjoying uh, fucking him up when, in fact, I have returned the chestnut. Uh, I requested from mother to return the, the chestnut right there in that forest. Uh, and I find it bizarre, especially because I regaled, gifted these people maybe 200 of kilos of fish from the river here. These people had no fishing license, but I had. It wasn't only myself who did this. It also was father. You know what I mean? Would I want to go and do something like this to the neighbors when I was probably the best neighbor and person in the village? These people were not the only people who got the fish from me. These people got the fish from me. These people got a fish from me. The house behind got a fish from me. This desgraciado here got a fish from me. His brother got fish from me. The whole fucking village got free 
always free fish for me because I caught a lot of fish and I just, if I didn't feel eating fish, I would give this to the neighbors, to the people in the village. What the fuck is wrong with this Satanists, Lucifers in this Kirka village? Because this is a 100% Satanism, evil, that have actually, I'm not going to say show compassion for me, when they even threw me because of them inside of the psychiatric hospital. They enjoyed the fact, and they expressed eagerness to destroy me, basically. All the will to destroy me completely through the psychiatric hospital in Gagapolia. What the fuck is wrong with this Satan here? With his neighbors here. I do not know, but I'm looking forward to destroy you. Because now I am the one coming after you. And let me tell you, you are going to fucking sit for the rest of your life, every one of you, that you did this stuff to me. I ain't going to fucking let you get away, a single fucking one of you. A good Bobby that was there before I left to America, it's gone. Now, it's just you and I. And I don't see you as a neighbors. I don't see you as a village people. You are a dirt that somehow settled in this part of Slovenia and did stuff that is beyond believable. You're not a farmers. You're not a workers. You're definitely not Slovenian people. I don't see you as a neighbors. I don't see you as a farmer, as a worker, whatever the fuck you are. First, you have to be human. And what you did is so inhumane that I swear to God, I ain't going to let you go till I get my justice fulfilled in this world. You are evil, pure fucking evil. And for that matter, what you did to me, you're going to pay dearly for that matter. That much about my will to destroy your father. I, uh, I decided I'm gonna get, I'm gonna add a little extra to this video. I don't get it. I, I don't understand how these people figure it out. Uh, on the place of the incident of this chestnut location, right there, I returned the bags and it was the neighbor, Martin Yerman, man who passed away. We got one son, as I stated, he's gonna, both of them, second son, a police officer also, that threatened me, assured me that for that matter, they're going to kill me, that I was doing out there, that I went for that father, and that I wanted to kill their father through dementing one. Um, <laughs> uh, right on the spot where those chestnuts are located, uh, right on that spot, I insisted to my mother to give those chestnuts, everyone, back to the man. And it was actually the man who signaled to the mother that he doesn't want the chestnut back. So that same evening is how that stuff started. So now you're going to see a little bit different of me uh, when compared to what I was before I left the United States of America. I think you did not understood me at all. Uh, my being your good neighbor, my good being your good Kirka village man, uh, I think that uh, you are sure that I'm afraid of you, that you intimidated me. So you're going to get all the difference from what I used to be for you from now on. So you're going to get to know real me, the one that you were looking for. You did found me. Thanks for watching this video. And today is October the 17th, 2023. Senichar, Medved. Remember when I brought you all of you fish? Yudesh, everybody in the village, Redek. What happened with you? What happened with you? What's up with you? What happened with you? Who was trying to destroy you? Who was causing you? 
Whom have I ever caused any damage in the village? Who was your best man in this village? Relax, guys, relax.